figured I want to do something different this week that's also not the really ridiculously long tutorial. And I got pumpkin mess all over my hands. So I thought I'd share this. I think the past e either year or two, I have done this. Well, last year was in um, the studio blog or something. I'm not sure how to do this in terms of height and is that as high as this tripod goes. Okay. Eh, eh. Now that's how I'm going to do it. That's that's how it's going to go. So. Halloween's tomorrow, so I'm carving pumpkins. I got two this year, mostly because I wanted more seeds. Because I like pumpkin seeds. Plus it gives me the ability to play with different designs. Good old fashioned pumpkins. Kind of sketch that eyes out onto this guy, but I don't really care for that. I'll just I like the I like the blank, basic geometric shapes for and just play with the heavier hitting stuff with his with his mouth. Mildly dangerous knife work. What's interesting is in my neighborhood, I think I'm one of the only people that actually really still does this. A lot of people have just like artificial, uh, like plastic pumpkins or wood pumpkins. It's like you can't do that. You actually have to go get a pumpkin and 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 carve it like a, you know, like a person. I think a lot of people don't because I live closer to the city. A lot of people don't like taking the extra drive out to the farmers market. Which is how I got two for, I think, under 20 bucks. Because if you just go to the grocery store, it's like, here, I have a pumpkin that's like smaller than this other one. I don't even know if you guys can see that other one, though. No, that other one. That one. The sell them at the grocery store. So it'd be like slightly smaller than that for like $15. And it's like, why? Yeah, obviously you wouldn't get a pumpkin like that. It's a waste of money. But I think this big one was a 12. And the smaller one was an 8. So it was like 18 bucks. I'm like, that's definitely reasonable. More than more than it's been the past couple of years, but everything is more expensive now. Plus, I don't, you know, plus it's uh, because it's a fresh product and it's a farmer's market, no tax. So that's a thing too. Once I get into because I, I I I cut the cut the big piece out, but I'll I'll trim it down and I'll come in and move the this is actually the more complex design of the two. Something for, this is pretty similar to what I've been doing the past couple of years. Nice wide smile with a crap with the teeth. Come on. Come on, you shit. Let's go. Flesh on this one's really hard compared to that one. This one, the other one was a little softer, cutting into the top of it. Also, probably could have afforded to sharpen this knife before I got started. That's all right. Yeah. It'll make more sense when I'm over here. I know I'm kind of blocking it, but I literally can't turn this without completely reworking where everything's at here. Yeah. Gotta take it out in chunks rather than trying to do the whole mouth at once because that would be crazy. Remember one one time when I was a kid, my dad, I don't know what it was or why it why he was prompted to do it, but he got out a jigsaw and was like Brrr! it was cutting them that way. I don't know why, but you know, whatever. Whatever works. Oh. 
Should be good. Oh, that's connected. That's why. There it goes. First piece. Pretty good. And coming out. Okay. Once the big piece is out, everything's everything gets easier. Just realized I'm gonna have to put this entire bag in my in my outside trash can. So if I let this stuff sit for the next couple of days, it's gonna rot. But hey, the start of the holiday season, we're like really, I would say, I think that's kind of the thing. Is people say holiday season, they're really talking about like Christmas, but and Hanukkah and, and Ramadan, a little bit, a little bit of Thanksgiving, but it it really, it really does kind of start with Halloween. Bang it on the kind of nut job you are. How we might start at the beginning of October, but I'm not a nut job, so I don't, I don't, just, I don't do that. No offense if if, if you're w really into it, but you're a nut job. a little better now on this side it must have been the way it was growing that it just it hardened up on that side more mm -hmm. I was opening this up earlier I, I decided to wait and then just uh, stream the, the carving part but scooping everything out every time you open a pumpkin up it's it's some varying level of like it just looks like a like a the, the webbing in, in between with the way the seeds and everything's pouched together. It's like, this looks like like an insect hive. And it's really just, I, I'm like, do I get a picture of this? Do I take that a little further that way? Or it's like, I can always just look up a picture of an inside of a pumpkin. I don't necessarily need my own reference of it. Like to, nice to take your own, but you know. And also talk about old fashioned pumpkin carving stuff. I actually put a candle in mine. I don't just stick like a little battery powered glowy LED or some nonsense like that. Cause it needs to flicker that, that the, the, the flickering light makes a, makes a huge difference to the aesthetic of it. Unless it's really windy and your candles get blown out, but still. Oh. All right. Need to give my hand a rest. <laughs> Over there more. Huh. Okay.
guys. Oh, there it goes. Strangely enough, this is actually one of the few things since I broke my wrist that actually is starting to cause it to, to tense up a little. It's been almost a year. And there's there's a couple of things, weird, weird movements. This mm, this seems to be hurting it a little bit. Every now and then there's something like that that I'm like, oh, okay, I can't do that as, the way I used to. Turn the light off. <laughs> Can hear the light downstairs buzzing. I, le I left. I left my garage door open all night, and I left a light on in there, which I didn't catch until like eleven o'clock this morning. I'm like, oh great. There's a freaking. No wonder it was so cold this morning. Hmm. Cat. Down to pretty much just the easier sides now. Design one. Ooh, he's kind of a little top heavy there. All right, let me get uh, let me get this down a little bit here. Here, I'll start working on the finer finer details of him. Big pieces are gone. Got to carve it out. Get a little thinner. You guys are having a good weekend. Probably get my other knife that's a little sharper for this, but it's also got a thinner, longer blade, which I don't want to risk damaging the knife doing it this with this. So this this knife is a little stumpier. Tends to be better for it. That's good. Actually, this is the first time I put noses on my, my pumpkins in a couple of years. Normally I just carve it out and leave it fairly simple, I guess you could say. I've seen people do some really crazy carved designs on, on pumpkins. I think the craze started, I think, back when I was in high school or something like that, where you could like really sculpt at it and get some varying levels of uh, transparency and stuff. But 
I never really bothered how to do to learn to do that. I'm sure I can make some pretty cool stuff, but it's essentially just a round two-dimensional canvas. But and if you suggest that I just paint a pumpkin, then you already lose. No paint dobs. play with the actual shape of the teeth a little bit more now. I like them to be a little thinner. Oh, last, oh shit, that's what I, I can, could do it with the other one, but the other one's more vamp, like a vampire. I had, it was the, the mouth last year was wider, started further up, and because I didn't need to, I didn't put the nose in. Smaller eyes, and I connected a few of the, the teeth, for, mostly for stability, but it also makes it a lot creepier. Can't believe I forgot about that one this time. Like it's dripping or something, you know. It's got a little too angular on this side. Carve out the excess. So it'll look nice for one night and then the deer will come and eat them. That's what happened, uh, I think, the last two years. Deer or, or raccoons? I just leave them sit outside. Two, three days later, if they're gone, they're half eaten. A lot of the people that carve their pumpkins at like two weeks before Halloween. So by the time Halloween rolls around, they're just rotten because they, they either bought them too early or, uh, I mean, you can buy them as long as you don't carve them. They're, they tend to last a decent amount of time, anyhow. But as soon as you carve into them, it's like, it's going to be rotten in three days. What are you doing? I was driving home from work one day, and I saw it coming up, like, I don't know, about miles, mile or so from home. And uh, I just I saw pre-carved pumpkins on the porch like, two, two weeks ago. I'm like, you guys are dumb. <laughs> Another funny, another funny pumpkin carving story. Uh, if you ever meet me in person, this is what it's like. I'm like, oh, that reminds me of another funny story. This story dovetails into that one. And they're just constant funny stories. Uh, this would be about, man, I don't know, let's see, maybe seven or eight years ago now, because I, I don't think my, I don't think my niece was born yet, and she's like six now, so. Um, so yeah, it would have to be at least seven years. Um, we, we got together with uh, my dad's side of the family, uh, which is real small. And like, hey, let's let's carve pumpkins with with, uh, with with the older generation. Could that be neat? And my uncle, who is now like 65 or 60, it was, I think it was around his 60th birthday. And we found out that in 60 years, he had never in his life carved a pumpkin. And we're like, how? He's like, I've never done this before. We're, like, we're all like, really? <laughs> I mean, because they, they, they never had kids, though, too. So it was like, well, less of a need. But I, I, mean, I don't know. It just it seemed odd. I thought that was just like a regular thing. I, like, never met anyone, at least that lived in the U.S., that had never done that. Um, so yeah, we're just like we're all just completely flabbergasted. We're like, what? You know, it just occurred to me that I wonder if you could make a snow pumpkin like if you have a ball of ice could could you do the same technique 
uh, with, with like, just like a ball of ice and like like ice sculptures with the chainsaws and stuff like, and and then just do that, but and but make it like a pumpkin and it, or, so so like rather than a jack o' lantern, maybe like an ice lantern or something. Not really sure. What? Are, just occurred to me that like the jack is not a pumpkin word. So where where did jack come from in jack o' lantern? If anybody knows, let me know. See if I have that picture. Um, when I moved, my, my mom gave me a basically basically a small family photo album of, of some of my own pictures, some copies of, of uh, other ones that she she had printed. Um, and there was a year when I was like three. Might have been might have been the blizzard of '93. I'm gonna think of it. And it snowed on Halloween. We got like three feet of snow on Halloween, and so there's a picture of me in full winter gear uh, with a snowman and a, and a pumpkin on its head because that's what what happened happened to you know happened to do it that that way. That's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to see if I have a copy of that. You guys will get to see one of picture of me when I'm a little kid. I, I couldn't have been three. I, Cause I'd have, I'd have remembered it. Well, that, I don't. Well, I don't know because I don't really remember the Blizzard of '93. That's a funny thing too. If you ever, you ever come to Pittsburgh and, and anyone who was old enough, and all you have to do is say '93, and, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, the Blizzard '93." Oh, oh. It's like, and then the next, I would say, the other biggest one was about when I was 16 or 17, and that's sort of known as Snowmageddon. And Snowmageddon was interesting. Um, I think it was that the blizzard of 93, we got more, but Snowmageddon happened faster. So it was like uh, a bigger, a bigger deal. Actually, when I moved in, I got uh, one of my neighbors across the street and down a little ways. I was looking the one day and it looks like, there, I mean, it looked like there's an awning or something, or it used to be an awning on top of his, uh, his front. Uh, entrance, our front door, and I'm like, hey, what's up with the thing? And he's like, oh yeah, Snowmageddon brought that down. I'm like, oh yeah, that was a thing. Top heavy could, in theory, take a little more out of, out of this side. I think I'm going to actually match the match the tooth on the other side of them. There he goes. Okay, pumpkin one looks pretty good. right from yeah I guess I, I guess I don't have one of them oh there's, well, there's a there is a pumpkin nope does not look like I've got that one this other one. Might 
crack another ginger ale. Go for a regular one. This is sort of my creative thing for today. I started a piece yesterday of uh, painting, but um, probably not going to work on it. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the flesh of this one is like night and day different. So much softer. It's kind of the problem with the bigger ones. The flesh tends to be a lot uh, harder to slice. You know, maybe that was maybe that was the reason why. My dad got the jigsaw out that year. It was to it was because the flesh of the pumpkin was too hard to cut. Actually, that, that kind of sounds right now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this one's a lot softer. Won't have anywhere near as much trouble with this. can actually get the curves too. It's great. Oof. Just screwed up a little on that side. That's right. I'm just cover that a little more. This might not work. There it goes. I have to do a little bit of an overcut just to get the nose thing to work. Which even this is kind of pushing it. I'm a little concerned it might it might have been too close together and not uh, enough to do what I want it to do. Give it the trim now. So things actually work, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's a little weak on on that spot, but be okay. Hopefully, Don't break on me. If it breaks, it'll look really screwy. But I probably won't put it out in front. Well, calculated risk didn't really pay off. Still kind of soft in there, too. Mm. Oh, shit, I broke in the center. Okay. Got to, got to quit working on that. Nice wide mouth. Gotta be able to do this in one in one one go, it looks like. Not have to section it, which is cool. Yeah, it's definitely not that the knife wasn't sharp, it's the flesh of that one was so much more intense. Okay. We'll get this one out in one big piece. soft. 
worse, holy crap. Possibly a little overripe. Oh, it's still on. It's still on. Get out. Do. Loose, you're loose. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out. That's what's attached. Okay. Boom. Big thing. And now he's top heavy too. Jeez. Barely hanging on. That's what he is. Whew. All right. Yeah, the, the nose piece right in the middle here is broken through the, it's rather cut through the center. So. I think they're both creepy in their own right. Which is good. Yeah, the inner flesh of this is really soft. Once I'm done, I'll see if I can get the, uh, be able to turn the light off, put the candles in them, so you guys can see better, even though it's light out still, but should be all right. Also, kind of forgotten about, about an important design thing, which is not making the mouth too low to where you can actually see the candle. To be fair, though, I'm like going to be rushing to get home because trick or treating starts at six, and six is like the latest that I would get home if there's bad traffic. So I'm a little, a little concerned that I might run into that problem. But I'll be like, okay, hurry up, get uh, get home, get the candy out, and I'll prep as much stuff in advance as I can. I gave out big bars last year and ran out because, like, everybody and their, their relatives decided to come trick-or-treating in the neighborhood. I'm like, well, fuck, I didn't prepare for that. I couldn't afford to do that this year. I mean, I could, but... The thing is, like, big bars are not, like, that much more expensive than just getting, like, fun size bars and stuff. But... It's like you just, if you just buy them in advance, like it's just like it's middle of September, just start getting like two, three bars a week. And then you're fine. But considering that I had uh, enough bars for all the kids in the neighborhood, plus a redundancy of an extra five, and I still ran out in an hour, and I'm like, what the hell? Where did all these kids come from? They do not all live here. I think it's because it was warm and it was nice. And Everyone's like, oh, come, come trick or treating in this side. The neighbors won't mind, they'll totally have enough candy. I'm pretty sure there's like two adults that also trick or treat, and I don't want to give them candy, but I'm like, I don't want to be an asshole. But at the same time, you're an adult, buy your own fucking candy. I'm not here to, to do a shopping trip for you. 
think there actually is an age limit, or at least there's supposed to be. I'm like, seriously? The thing that gave it away is when, when she was like, oh yeah, my husband. I'm like, your husband? How fucking old are you? You do not get to go trick-or-treating and have other hard-working adults give you candy. That's not how this works. This is a holiday for children. If you have a husband, you go to a Halloween party, and you get shit-faced. That's what happens. Yeah, that's, that's, we that's weirdly hanging a little bit there. Okay. Well. Where's the other this way? Okay. Yep, there we go. Boop. Okay. Let's get some candles. <laughs> mm. oh, turn that thing. Turning. Boop. Pumpkins. Which I think I might actually leave inside tonight just so I don't have to worry about the animals getting. There you go. Couple of couple of old fashioned pumpkins. Thanks guys for watching this. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. This has been fun. That other candle needs a carve out there so that it glows a little bit more, but yeah, the, the mouths are, are way too low for sure. But those are my pumpkins this year. Happy Halloween, everybody. Keep on creating, and I will see you guys next time.